Welcome to Fulham Dock. Today we're heading to the Amex Stadium to play Brighton. Personally, I'm quite sceptical about this one. Last time I went to go see Brighton away was when we got hammered 5 0. So that's going to be a good one. But well, those were the championship days, and we have a new team now. So that should be good. I think Slav will play a good team today. Similar to someone like Burnley. Because these are the points we need if we want to stay up in the Premier League. You see, we were at 11 when we uh, got that win at Burnley. Well, we got to 11 when we got that win at Burnley, that's it. And I feel if other teams can do the same, get one game, win one game and go up that far, then I think if the lower down teams win today, they can do the same and push us back down. If you get my drift. Any day. Uh, Travelling right, it should be a, a short journey from London, however I'm from Somerset so it's going to be quite a long journey by car. I'm going to go with my brother Luke, uh, our friend Jack, and a person we met the other day who's a really nice guy, he's called Chris. So yeah, let's get this on the road shall we? So the team news is out now. So starting in goal is Bet. Should be good and um, nice. At right, the back we have Le Marchand, uh, Adoy, Mawson and Fusimensa. And uh, centre defensive mid we have McDonald. Uh, that should be good as well. Placing Kenny because he was injured last match. Alright. Then we have Seri and Agrisa. And then up front, well, on the wings, we have Schuller and Vieto, and then at, at the uh, at striker we have Mitra. Alright, that should be good. Alright, on the bench we have Fabri, Chambers, Christie, Sessegnon, Johansson, or Johansson, however you say it, and Abuka Kamara. So, good lineup. Uh, Slav knows what he's doing in Slav we trust. Alright, moving on. Going into the game, I would have taken a, a draw, but half time, I, it was like we were already taken. We were so close to um, winning as well. Um, it's by our own mistakes we got the goals. Uh, and both of uh, I kind of sympathise with him because I looked on match of the day and um, felt so like ashamed and uh, bad for myself. So I can uh, show some sympathy there, uh, but we need to work hard. Uh, 
If you want to survive in the Premier League, we've got to fix some mistakes. And we cannot afford to make state, state, uh, mistakes like that when we play City. Or teams like that, or Liverpool. Uh, we're going to get slaughtered. Uh, however, those are games that we're, we're not going to go really in there expecting to win. But we could try it. A uh, draw late to those games would be a uh, win for us, pretty much. Alright, anyway, uh, I'm drafting on. Uh, talking about the Bettinelli save, it was amazing, I think. Uh, we got footage of it, uh, got that handed down to me by uh, my brother. So, yeah, my thoughts, I thought it, it wasn't going to be a save, I thought we were going to go in and we'd have a tough time trying to equalise. But, Bettinelli pulled out of the bag, he did amazing, I'm proud of him to be fair. And, yeah, uh, I thought Cesc could have scored. It was, a good, it was a good shot, but the goalie just had it. And, yeah. I'll take a point now. Um, but, I'm just... Gutted that we didn't win, pretty much. But, hey, at least we got a point. So, that was Fulham Talk Away Days. I hope you enjoy, and goodbye.